Hi guys, so today I thought I would do a bit of a April wrap up video, mostly because I read about 10 or so maybe books this month and I just do not have the time to personally review them all for you so I kind of just thought I'd talk about them briefly in a video for you. The two books I did buy I'm going to talk about but Alienated and Invaded both by Melissa Landers. So they're the first two books in a series. It's about I think aliens come to earth or something and it sounds really cool. I read another series by Melissa West. I think it's along the same lines and it's similar to this. Like I'm pretty sure the aliens come to earth in this one and then in this one it seems like she's on their planet and he's on her planet. So I'm, I'm presuming she's the human, he's the alien and they fall in love. That is pretty much the go and stuff goes down. So they're the only two books I bought in April. So no book haul this month. Okay, so the first book that I read in April was The Jewel by Amy Ewing. I'm not going to talk about this because I uploaded a book talk on it the other week. So if you want to know what I think of this, you should go check it out. I will post a link down in the description below for you all. It is really good. The second book I read this month was Between the Lives by Jessica Shavington. Now, I didn't enjoy it as much as I was expecting to, which I'm a bit sad about because she's one of my favourite authors and I've wanted to read this for a while. Um, I stupidly thought from the picture that she was in college. She's actually in high school, so when I found that out, it kind of just ruined the storyline for me. So yeah, it was different from what I was expecting. It didn't end how I thought it did. She doesn't end up having one life. like. The way it's it's stated out in the blurb, you think that she's only going to end up with one life and that doesn't happen. So I was a bit like, oh, okay, she's kind of stuck in this position still. And you know how I was saying back in The Perfect Life how I thought her boyfriend would be really horrible. And yeah, he is. I was right. I nailed that one. I'm not going to spoil it, but I think I had issues with the world and all the other characters. I only liked Ethan. Kind of. It took a while. But yeah, no one really was like, I didn't love it. Then... I read a book that was in my January book haul, and that was Beautiful Oblivion by Jamie McGuire. I loved this from the get-go. I actually prefer Beautiful Oblivion to her Beautiful Disaster series. Just purely the relationship between the main character, Cammy and Trent. I really found that in um, Beautiful Disaster, the re relationship between Travis and, and Amy, whereas Trenton is nothing like Travis pretty much in the way he treats Cammy. You know, the way they sort of like fall in love is just so cute. It's so sweet. Um, she's got a boyfriend um, originally to begin with and <laughs> you never really find out much about him. He's really just like this sort of like, they're very mysterious about it and then you find out who he is at the end of the book and it's just this plot twist. And I, my jaw dropped. I was not expecting that. And I was just like, I need this, the next one. I couldn't put this book down. I was, I was fell in love. I think the fact I liked it was they were more mature. I was really confused because I thought this series started after Beautiful Disaster and everything. No, it starts prior. It sort of shows a little bit of Travis's stuff. His development. What he was doing prior to Abby. Whilst he was trying to get with her. Not so much after. I recommend it. I reckon you could read it without having read the first ones. The next book I read was Ferris by Marissa Meyer. And it's essentially the prequel to the Lunar Chronicles, which is Cinder, Scarlet Crest. And it focuses on Queen Lavana. You essentially get her background story and you find out why she is the way she is. I didn't think I was capable of hating her character any more than I already did. I was wrong. I kind of thought, oh, we're going to get this book and we're going to realise why she is such a horrible person and what happened to make her a horrible person. Pretty much she was just a horrible person from the get-go. Lavana, like, you, you kind of pity her, but at the same time you still hate her because she essentially falls head over heels in love with this guy who is married to another woman and is pregnant. The wife dies and then she essentially forces him to marry her. And there was just like plot twists upon plot twists upon plot twists. <laughs> Real excited for winter. I, I want her to die even more than I did previously. I want the lunar people to have a decent sovereign. I want them to become decent people because they're horrible. So the next four books I read were a series. The After Series by Anna Todd. I read all four of these. They are like, look at this one. Look how thick. And then like 
this one. I can't hold them all, that's how I think of it. Like, there's that one. And then the final one was After Ever Happy Banneton. Now, I don't want to talk about this too much because I am planning on doing an entire series review on these four books. But, do you want to say that I, I started the series hating it? I did not like it. I hated the relationship between Tessa and Harden. I thought it was just emotionally messed up relationship and the way he treated her was horrible and she had no self-respect and I thought she was so whiny that I couldn't stand her. And it also read very much like fan fiction and that annoyed me because it's a published book. It should not read like fan fiction on the internet. If I wanted to read fan fiction on the internet, I would go on the internet and read fan fiction. No, I want to read some literature doesn't read like literature until you get to the final book. I don't know if it was in this point the writing style actually got better. I'm dropping the book. Or I was just so used to the writing style it no longer bugged me <laughs> that I was reading fan fiction. This book was the reason I started to like this series. Up until this book I was just like this is why am I reading this? You know, I'm going to go into this more later in my book talk because I'm going to say it, but this plot twist at the end of this book blew my mind. So now I want to talk briefly about a couple of books I'm excited about that are getting released in May because I'm doing this and May's already started. I happened to pick up one of the books I really, really wanted to read and that was Rogue by Julie Kagwa, who's one of my favourite authors. It's the sequel to Talon, which is essentially a book about dragons who can turn into humans and they try to live in the human world and there's these dragon hunters trying to kill them. So it picks off right from Talon Ended. I didn't enjoy Talon for the most part until the ending, but I'm excited to read this. And the covers are so cool. Like it feels like you're touching like scales in the claws and it's, I'm really excited to read it and I cannot wait. So I will definitely be doing a book talk on this. I'm so excited about it. The next book that I'm excited to come out is by Kira Cass, who wrote the selection series. She's got the next book, which is The Heir, and is essentially about the daughter, who is going to be the queen, and she's got to go through the selection process to see their story, because it's, you know, it was an accident in America in the first three books, and now it's about their children. They've got four kids, and their eldest is a girl, and <laughs> she's going to be the queen. She's going to be the first queen. It's always been a king, and she has to have this selection series. I'm very excited to read it. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What books have you read this month? Any that you would recommend to me based on the books I read. I will see you guys next week. Um, hopefully the next video I get up is my review of the After series. Um, so keep an eye out for that and I will see you next week. Bye!